full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest Find a semi-sheltered spot. It is very windy today. It's still super, super humid. I am now almost 37 weeks pregnant. 36 weeks and five days to be precise. Which means in two days I'll be considered full term and labor could start any minute. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's, it's very mixed emotions. It's nervous, it's excitement, it's I feel anxious, I feel worried, I feel super ecstatic, uh, everything, happy. I have to say that the last few weeks have gotten a little bit harder. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I can't do anymore. I just get very exhausted very quickly. And the aches and pains really, really increase now. So it is getting a lot harder to do things. And um, yeah, a bit more painful. Yeah, and I just get so hot. <laughs> I just get super, super, super sweaty. But all up, I'm feeling really good still. So I started my maternity leave on Monday this week. So today's Friday. I even forwarded it a little bit because originally I would still be working right now for another one and a half weeks. But reality check showed me not a good idea it's been a good way it's been very very hot so lucky I was on leave because then I could go down to the beach and just float about in the ocean I was like the biggest person there I was like a seal and I felt like a seal <laughs> it was so nice having the weight taken off my belly and just being cool for once I am intending to breastfeed Let's see how this goes, like that would be ideal, that would be the best possible outcome. And um, because of this gestational diabetes, I have to express a bit of colostrum before birth even. And I will get that started next week, because you're not meant to do that before you get 37 weeks, because it may bring on labour. Yes, we have. It's, we, we've had it since, I don't know, I was three months. <laughs> Like we had a name picked. I'm not going to tell you just yet. I told everyone else that I actually personally know. But, but you will have to wait until she's born. Mark suggested it, by the way. My belly's grown so big and it's so firm now. It's a 107 centimeter circumference. Oh God, I feel huge. I'm so big. She's still moving a lot, but she, she's got, you can clearly feel she's running out of space. So she's um, not kicking anymore, it's more like wiggling about, you know, shifting positions. But yeah, no, no real kicking anymore, there's no space for her to do that. But yeah, no, she's, she's fine, she's already in the right position. She's doing everything right, so hopefully that will also translate into a very smooth labour and birth. Wish me luck, wish me luck. I actually don't. I didn't even know something like that existed. I really just want to go with the flow, really. Whatever happens, happens. Whatever is, is needed, is needed. I just want to understand when they suggest certain procedures. I just really want to understand why they suggest it. So then I can make up my own mind whether I want it or not. 
But whatever is best for her is what I will do, really. It's so hard to make a birth plan because with the first baby, you just have no idea what to expect, none whatsoever. I cannot imagine what it's going to be like. I, I know there will be some pain, probably a considerable amount of pain. But apart from that, I have no idea what to expect, so no point making a plan. Just informing myself really on, on pain medication options and pain relief options that might not be medication and positions and you know that sort of stuff that's all I can do the more I know beforehand the more I can make use of it when I really need it and apart from that I don't know what else to tell you oh we finished our bedroom that's one thing we were renovating we've done a little girls room here earlier which I showed you and now we've done our own bedroom and it turned out really well I like it anyway. we just got the blinds installed today that means we've got everything set up now, like everything's ready for her to arrive, which is good because from now on it's only going to be three more weeks, three weeks and that's it. It's crazy to think of it, isn't it? You wait for nine months, can't go fast enough and then you're at the end of it and you think, what? That, that's, that's too fast. <laughs> Stop the clock. <laughs> Oh my god, and then our whole lives will be so different. Everything's going to be changing. Everything. Crazy. Hopefully the birth will start naturally. I really don't like, I really wouldn't like being induced. But they will induce me. They won't let me go past 40 weeks. So if she's still not here by the 14th of April, they will definitely induce me. So that's, that's, you can take that one to the bank. But I don't really want that. So I'm gonna be trying whatever I can <laughs> to get her out before then. Maybe she'll start her own journey soon. Not too soon. <laughs> All right. I think that is everything that I can tell you. Everything's fine absolutely fine i feel good i feel i feel really really good i had such a nice pregnancy i really did anyway i'll see you guys later Tschüss. so slow hold you in my arms won't let go the world around can pass us by thunderstorm a lightning strike as we hold each other Oh